let's take a minute to talk a little bit about tech recycling. It's a very broad category and covers a lot of different material. It's usually separated into two primary types. You're gonna be looking at your higher grade materials such as your motherboards, your RAM, your CPUs, and kind of your lower grade material. Let's start with the lower grade first. This is gonna encompass most of your everyday appliances, some of the smaller things. Here I have a speaker mixer right here. You have a signature pad, old truck radios, pretty much anything that's going to have a circuit board on the inside that's used for an everyday appliance. Those are gonna be our low grade. Now they're called low grade because, and I have a board right here to talk about, the material found on the board is not worth as much as something on, let's say, a computer tower or a laptop. And if we look at this board, for example, you'll see why. We're gonna see capacitors here. Here's a transformer. And on some of the other boards, you're gonna see significant amounts of steel. Now, when you add that to the weight of the board, it significantly lowers its value. Moving over to one of the higher grade materials where you make some of the more money, you're gonna be looking at laptops, computer towers, and servers. Now, what makes these valuable are the components inside. So you're gonna see a lot of the chips here that are gonna contain valuable metals. Circuit boards are also gonna have your CPUs. Now, CPUs are valuable because of their gold content. In addition, this board is, in particular is gonna have a memory chip. Now, these memories are going to have your circuit chips here, and then they're also gonna have the gold. The more of this material that you have on the board, the more valuable it is. So these are really good examples of what we would call a motherboard class. Towers are also going to have your heat sinks on here, which I would recommend removing because they are a little bit lower value than the uh, CPUs or the memory chips. Now, I did take a minute to take apart the computer tower in here. You can kind of see an idea of what it looks like on the inside. Now you can bring these in as whole or you can separate them for the most bang for your buck. And as you can see in here, you're going to have your motherboard, you're gonna have your hard drive. So those are gonna be your two big money makers. The CPU is gonna be under here under the heat sink and the memory's already been removed. Now again, like we've talked about in a lot of the videos, the more you take apart the material, the more you separate it, the more money that you make. One of the bigger concerns when working with tech recycling is proprietary information. So if you have a hard drive, for instance, and you're worried, that sensitive data is gonna be on there when you scrap it. What's really good about Rockaway Recycling is that we're an R2 certified facility. That means any proprietary data that you bring in, we certify to be destroyed and we can provide you with a certificate of destruction. So if you do have any data sensitive needs with tech recycling that you bring into our yard, for example, we will make sure that we take care of that. Now, like I said before, tech recycling covers a lot of material and a lot of it we did not go over today. I love to hear, from the comment section on what other materials you bring into the scrapyard for tech recycling. And if you wanna to continue to learn more about scrap, don't hesitate to like and subscribe.